A cartwheel this time? Oh, no, I think I hurt myself <laughs> doing that backflip, Rita. All right, here's the deal. Good weather yeah. for the backflip, <laughs> if okay. you want to do that. Uh, unfortunately, we do have some changes on the way. Right now, uh, I want to show you yesterday's highs because it's not going to be a repeat for today as far as how cool it was <laughs> yesterday afternoon. The last time we saw highs this low was back in late April, my friends. Today, we're going to take it up a notch. Temperature readings are going to be warming with plenty of sunshine for today and a dry southwest breeze. Temperature readings will be in the mid 80s, which is still below normal because the normal high this time of year on this date is 80, uh, 85 degrees, so right around normal. And then we fall below normal Thursday, or Tuesday and Wednesday because some rain will begin to increase, dropping the temperatures. Now you'll notice the temperatures do climb by the end of the week as our next cool front arrives, so we will warm ahead of that front. And once the front moves through sometime on Friday, we are going to head back down into the mid to upper 70s for the weekend. So we've got some great weather headed our way, but we'll have to wait until the weekend to get that. Temperature readings out the door, pretty fantastic this morning. We've got another refreshing start to the morning. Monday is going to be equally as nice for the morning. It's just the afternoon hours where it's going to be a little bit warmer for you. 56 degrees right now in Humble Katy. You're at 50, 61 degrees by this afternoon. Lots of 80s on the map. Pretty much everybody will be in the 80s, closer to the coastline in the lower 80s there. And then overnight lows won't be quite as cool tomorrow morning, but it's should still stay comfortable. We are going to start to see a surge of clouds moving in late in the afternoon into the evening. Clouds clear out and then we get that surge of cloud cover coming in late in the afternoon. We'll first start to see the clouds coming in down toward our south and west counties out toward Matagorda Bay. There you can see the clouds starting to form again. What we're going to be monitoring here to bring us that rain chance uh, Tuesday and Wednesday will be a couple of tropical systems in the eastern Pacific. It's already bringing us the steering flow is already bringing us some of that moisture. The rain showers that we're seeing across South Texas. But these are the two systems. We've got Lydia and Max there, but also an area to watch from the National Hurricane Center highlighting this area over the Bay of Campeche. That has a 10% chance for development, but regardless of formation, the moisture from the Gulf or from uh, this system is eventually going to move into the central Gulf of Mexico and we'll have to watch it in the days ahead. But these two weather systems here will send a surge of moisture into Mexico over the next several days and a piece of that may Makes its way into southeast Texas. So Tuesday we've got the rain chances building, especially late in the evening hours during the overnight hours on Wednesday. Right now we've got Wednesday at 40% chance. Some of the deepest moisture from that system over the Bay of Campeche looks to get shoved over toward the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So we're not looking at any sort of widespread showers or thunderstorms. It's a little bit more scattered. And then here comes a front, that next front arriving late this week could perhaps bring us our next best chance or at least a 20% chance of some wet weather. But you can clearly see all the color, all those reds. That is basically the highest rainfall totals. And right now it's centered from Louisiana into the panhandle of Florida. For us here uh, along the coastline is where we see the highest rainfall totals. And currently it looks to be somewhere between one to three inches possible. Tuesday morning should start off fairly quiet, but plenty of clouds. And then we look for some of those rain showers developing along on the coastline and spreading inland as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. I did increase the rain chances here for Tuesday. Right now at 30% may need to go even higher 